Do you want to learn or keep progressing on the guitar, but you don't feel like practicing guitar? So what can you do to be motivated to practice guitar? Stay with me, because today I will show you some strategies that you can use for you to practice more guitar. Hey guys, I'm Everton Zacchini, and not feeling motivated to practice guitar is common, it's normal, it happens to everyone. It happens to me, to my students, and also to some friends of mine that are musicians. Now, how we overcome it? how we keep practicing or keep motivating to be practicing guitar. So the first step actually is to practice even when you don't feel like it. Don't wait for feeling more motivated to practice, feel that feeling that, oh, now I wanna play guitar. Many times, it's not that you take you to play guitar. What is gonna make you play guitar and you develop and progress on the instrument is to sit down when you don't wanna play and practice a little bit. And one thing that you need to have is the consistency. For you to keep improving, the consistency will be very important. Doing things even when you don't want to do it. All of us will procrastinate in some degree. Some people will do more than the others. It depends on the personality. But everyone, some moment, will procrastinate. But there is one thing that you can do to overcome it. You know that discomfort that you have when you think about practicing, but you just don't want, you feel uncomfortable. Researchers discovered that after you start to doing something that you don't want, that uneasiness, soon after you start to do that, you disappear. It's just a matter of time. So if you don't feel like to play, you don't have the motivation, if you sit down with that discomfort, after a while that you start to practice it, you'll be feeling more comfortable, that uneasy will disappear, and then you can just keep practicing. So this is one way that you start to overcome this feeling of not practicing. Don't rely on motivation and on willpower. These two things usually won't get you to keep going, to get progressing. We're gonna talk about things that will be more effectively for you to keep progressing and be able to practice more. Now, when you sit down to practice, if you just play aimlessly, you'll be really hard for you to get somewhere. Do you know that quote? If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. This is about the goals. To have goals, will help you to keep the focus on what you want to get and also you have to have the motivation. You can have a very simple goal at the beginning and then you start to have different goals. If you want to know a little bit more about this, I talked a lot in other videos about goals, you can check this video here. It has some steps for you to practice effectively, what's the step you need to have a good practice as well. It's all about practice, today it's what you need to do to practice. Now, when you set a goal, you need the consistency. So consistency, I'll be talking about consistency, consistency, consistency for you to have this when you're practicing. This is, will be key for you to improve on the guitar and you practice even when you don't like it. Now, another strategy that you can use to help you to practice the guitar will be the delayed gratification. What it means is that after you practice, you give a little reward for yourself. If you said, for example, that you're going to practice 25 minutes, that's pretty good. Most people can focus for around 25 minutes and then you have a break. Then you give a little reward for yourself, picking up the smartphone and take a look at your social medias, YouTube watching a video not related to your practice, play a video game very quickly. You can do something that is more reward, something easy for you, that you help you after this practice, this moment that you have focusing then you can have some pleasure after that. Many of these tips will be for you to practice and how to build the habit of practicing. And you can take a look, there's a course on Coursera or the book from Barbara Oakley, which is the book A Mind for Numbers and the course Learning How to Learn on Coursera. It has many of these things that I'm talking about, so you can take a look and improve the way that you learn. Learn about how you learn things. This is to make you have more efficiently practice and how to learn things that you last. Okay. So we talked about a few things, some strategies, things that you can do, but now all of this you depend first of your short, easy steps. That's why sometimes you don't rely on motivation or willpower. You need to have a little bit more discipline, focus, go, consistency, and one step, easy step. That video that I mentioned, I also talked about to make things easy for you to practice. So. One simple step. A few months ago, I was listening to Frank Gambale and he was answering how he would learn very difficult pieces of music that he needed to be playing with the band. I think it was the Chicaria Electric Band. I'm not sure, but I think it was this. Very complex music. And everything would start with the first step. You just start. So for your practice, you need to give the first step. 
And remember, so you need to make it easy. Another thing that I talked about is to get your guitar out of the bag in an easy way that you can access it. And notificate some habits that you could have. For example, the habit of sit down on a couch and watch TV. Instead of you have the remote nearby, you can substitute, get your guitar next to the couch, very easy to access. Get your remote, put in a drawer far away and without the batteries. And this way you are making one habit more difficult that you have to think and you have lots of movements, lots, lots of actions for you to do it and then you have the guitar at your side. Then you can set a moment for you to practice. When I get to the couch, I will practice the guitar and then I will watch TV. And this way, we start to modificate and substitute your habits and also attach a habit to the other. Instead of you sit down and watch TV, that's your habit. Sit down on the couch, first habit. Second habit, watch TV. Then you modificate. First, sit down on the couch. Second habit, get the guitar and practice. Very simple step, make it easy. If you wanna change a habit, you need to make the new habit that you wanna form easier to access. And if you wanna get rid of a bad habit, you do the opposite. You just make it more difficult to access. All these things, as I mentioned before, some people will be easier to take these steps than the others. It depends on some traits of personality. Some people will be more harder to build the habit. Some people will be very easy. So it's important that you understand a little bit more about yourself and how this will influence your habits. The next strategy is design your environment. Here I give an example how you design your environment. If you have your guitar far away, hard to access, it will be harder for you to develop the habit. So once you get your guitar close to your couch or close to your desk that you use to study, you start to design your environment. Your environment also will be really important for you to develop the new habit. So when you start to move in things and design your way that you will be more efficient, your environment will make a lot of difference for you. For example, I'm shooting this video right now and it's everything close to me. I have the lights close, I have my computer close, my guitar is at hand, the amplifier is right here. So everything is set up that you can pick up my guitar and practice it. If I wanna shoot a video, I just set up the equipment very quickly. So I start to design my environment. One more element, enjoy the journey. Part of the process of learning is to enjoy the process of learning. Sometimes we don't look at the process, we just look at the result and we don't see all the steps that someone needs to achieve something. And celebrate your small victories. You can put a really high goal, but during this process, try to find the small victories that you have and celebrate that. Think as one week that you don't know any scale and the next week you know one pattern of the scale. This is a small victory, you already learned something. Maybe it's that song that has three chords that you couldn't learn, now you're able to play it. It can be a very hard song, like a dream theater song that you just learned three bars of the song. This is a small victory. Instead of you think about, oh, all the process, all the results, so you can have that go. You wanna learn the dream theater song with six minutes, lots of hard parts, but you need to take the first step and you celebrate the small victories, give you a little reward for yourself when you learn one bar, two bars, three bars of the song. When you identify these small victories, this is also will help you to keep motivated. So these strategies that I'm showing you will help you to be motivated. And when you're not feeling motivated, then you work with the discipline and focus to achieve your goal. And the last thing to talk about on this video is your approach to practice. A tip for you when you're practicing is to start with the hard stuff first. If you're learning a new scale, you need to memorize all the patterns throughout the fretboard. Start with that and keep the easy things, things that you already know, to last. For example, if you know a song, you like to play that song, leave this song for you to play at the end of your practice. When you leave the song that you like at the end of your practice, it's gonna give you the reward of practicing and you feel much better and have to play the song that you like. And it's gonna make it up for all the hard work that you had before. Start with the hard stuff and then easy things things that you like at the end of your practice. All right, these are some strategies that you can use for you to practice the guitar, and I hope that it's gonna help you to practice more guitar, to create a habit, and you'll feel more motivated to play guitar. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like. If you wanna support this channel, your subscription will be very important, and ring the bell to get all the videos that I'm posting every week. Thanks for watching, see you next time.